he confessed. The only problem what I could say I might have here is they tell me it is 50, he might have 70 because people want to lie. So the crowd, it is a little more than they tell me. Now he is charged. Officers attached to the Grenville Police Station have arrested and charged 50-year-old Jude Jack of Paradise St. Andrew for accommodating more persons at his Cowpen venue than the number specified on the permission document. He was granted bail in the sum of $2,500 with one surety. Jack, whose occupation is listed as a butcher, will appear at the Grenville Magistrates Court on September 3rd. The charge against him was first disclosed on GBN's To The Point by head of the Community Relations Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force, Superintendent Fanny Cohen. If you want to have those activities, you might be allowed to have those activities, not by law enforcement, but we'll allow you to have those activities. But rest assured that when the dust settles on these activities, you are going to receive your ticket, you are going to make a court appearance, your $350 need to be set aside because policing now has to be more strategic. We do not want to set up a fight between law enforcement and our communities. And that is what we have been avoiding. So we've been very tolerant. We've been very patient. We've been very engaging. We've been calling for calm and adherence. Addressing the defiance by many who maintain that mass must play, Superintendent Cohen had this warning. But when you refuse to meet us on, on that half, we have other ways and means of dealing with you. We cannot allow our population to disregard our laws and get away scot-free. We are not the jungle. We are not other countries. We are Grenada, where we respect our laws and we're still a country of law and we are still a peaceful people. So we're not going to go over there and fight with our people. But trust me, we are going to enforce the law that we are mandated to enforce. And you will have your day in court and your $350 or your $1,000 needs to be set aside if you continue to be belligerent and disrespectful to what is in currently in place. For those who are planning to breach the COVID-19 regulations, the message is simple. Have your monies set aside. And I, can, I can tell you of a few. Um, we, had yes, one at, at, we had one at Victoria, Shine Victoria. He was dealt with. Um, only early this morning, I approved a release for the Cowpen that says that the, the, the proprietor is ticketed. He has been dealt with. Um, there are a number of people across the country, I know for a fact, that we have ticketed or deal with one way or the other. I have not collated and quantified the numbers, so I cannot tell you 10, 15, 20, or 25. But I can tell you most of the promoters who have had an activity outside permission from the RGPF have been dealt with. In recent weeks, especially on Sundays, people have been dabbing themselves with black oil, flour, and white paint, which are now synonymous with Grenadian mass. Some have drawn politics into the foray of defiance. During one of the recent street jump-ups at Willis, one group was heard chanting, no mass, no vote for Keith Mitchell. Police Commissioner Edwin Martin told a media briefing yesterday that charges have been laid against some of the violators at Willis. The lawmen have made it clear that they stand ready to enforce the regulations. Trelona Charles, GBN News.